Uh, excuse me, sir, are you ready? I'm, I'm finally ready, yes, sorry. He's ready, you're the problem. Hi there and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm here with Sujay and he is going to show us some pretty cool technology for enabling enterprises, uh, small companies, anyone to take advantage of disaster recovery solutions. Normally the type of thing that would be reserved to only the most expensive, largest solutions. Now with a single click you can enable this. I have stolen all your thunder now. <laughs> right. Tell us a little bit about what this is, what you're working on, and, and sort of what, what, what you're going to show us here today. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, this, this scenario is enabled by a service called Azure Site Recovery. Azure Site Recovery is a disaster recovery as a service offering on Azure. And it supports DR for various scenarios such as on-prem to Azure, Blade, Hyper-V, VMware, physical servers to Azure. Right. And we recently announced GA for Azure VM DR scenario where you can enable replication to another region and when you can easily bring up the entire application in another region in the event of disruption. And I want to emphasize that Azure is the first public cloud to offer a true native disaster recovery solution. And this allows anyone, be it a large enterprise or a small, small mom and pop shop. I'm, sh I'm showing visually what you're saying. That's, that's just so you know what I'm doing about it. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. So to enable easily DR with a single click, with no infrastructure, no additional compute, can just enable DR and do DR drills whenever you want at your convenience and ensure your compliance. That's awesome. So you're telling me, you, let's say you've got some compliance rule or just you'd like to make sure that you're you know, going to be able to fail over. You've got an application deployed in East US and you're like, look, I want to make sure uh, that if something goes wrong, either with my application or with the region or what have you, bad storm, I can now fail over to West US, right? Yes. And so even a really, you know, really bad storm that may impact multiple zones, exactly. I can still fail over to another region altogether. And with you know Azure having 52 announced regions, it's really advantageous to be able to have this capability because you can really take advantage of this in ways that before you'd have to go buy a data center here, go buy a data center here, and go deploy and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And now it's just a few clicks, is that right? Exactly. So why don't you actually show, because I know you set this up, you yep. got uh, you got it up and running. Why don't you show us a little bit about what, what this looks like and how customers could use it? Okay, sure. So this is the very familiar Azure VM dashboard. And when you go to the left menu, you see an option for disaster recovery. Just click on that. Awesome. And within a few seconds, ASR sees the source count configuration for the VM. Nice little snazzy map here. Yeah, exactly. So this map shows you what is your source region, what is your target region, and what are all the other available target regions. So you are not limited by a single uh, paid region. You can go to any region of your choice based on your business requirements. You can see the list of regions here, mm -hmm. which are allowed. So within yeah. the US geography, you can go to any region of your choice. And US you and Canada, can, yep. Yeah. 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 And, uh, you can see that based on the source configuration, the entire target configuration such as what should be my target VM resource group, what, is, what should be my target availability set, what should be my virtual network, and a bunch of other settings. You can go into deeper dive if you want to change your storage settings or whatever. Exactly. Very cool. Yeah, all of these are automatically populated and if you want to customize any of that, you can, you can do that. Cool. Yeah. But if you if you just leave it to defaults, like we It'll pick the right things yeah. and we just work. You just click, click on enable replication. And within a few minutes, the initial sync will start. Mm -hmm. And within a couple of hours, the entire data gets synced to the other region. And, and the failover can work. Exactly. Wow. So I have. A, yeah, I was going to ask. A, okay, great. Cool. So I'm not going to wait a couple hours just to be clear. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, let's see. What you, it looks like you got one already set up. Exactly. All so right. I have a VM that is currently replicating to South Central US from East US. This is the active location in the yeah. South Central US. And now. You can easily perform a DR drill in one click by clicking on test failover. Yes. You have the option to select the virtual network. You can select a test virtual network in the DR region and then just click OK. And this will start the test failover process and within a few minutes, less than three minutes or so, the VM should come up in the DR region Very good. for test purposes. Got it. So that then if something has gone wrong, that's about how long it will take to, to fail over. Exactly. Um, and that's also roughly about how long sort of the data replication will take, right? So it's really just about lighting it up and going. Exactly. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. That's awesome. 
So I have talked about the single VM VR scenario, but right. most of most the apps. enterprises or most of the apps are spanned across multiple of course, VMs. Of course. Yeah. So if what you can just, you do for that? Yeah, we have uh, ASR has a good feature where, called recovery plan, which orchestrates the entire failure of the application okay. in one click. Okay. Very so cool. So if I jump into the recovery services vault, recovery services vault is the Azure resource corresponding to Azure Site Recovery, mm. in which all the metadata, the target configuration is stored. So if I double click and go to the site recovery vault, you can see the monitoring view of the all the VMs that are currently configured for mm -hmm. DR. As you can see, there are six VMs configured for DR. Right. Everything is healthy except one VM. If there is a problem, what you need to, uh, what action you need to take. Uh. And this is very important for DR admins. Right. If you take an enterprise which has 200, 300 VMs. For them, the DR admin comes day in, day out into this view just to get a quick summary of hey, what is going What's wrong. What's the mistake? Exactly. No, no, no. And if he wants to take an action, he can take it. Of course. And if recovery plan is the feature I was talking about earlier, and we have a recovery plan for a SharePoint application, simple SharePoint application comprising yeah. of three VMs. And what but with SharePoint, as we all know, it needs to come up in a specific order. It doesn't work, exactly. right? Like if you have the SharePoint front end come up without the SQL Server, without AD, it gets There's really no angry. Yes, SharePoint exactly. cycle breakdown. That's right. Yeah. So what to solve that problem? What we have in recovery plan? Recovery plan is an orchestration, a workflow to sequence various activities. For mm -hmm. example, you can sequence the boot order of the VMs. You can sequence that my AD VM has to come up first, followed yeah. by my SQL or the cool. database VM, and followed by my web front end. That's awesome. Not just that, we have rich integration with Azure Automation, mm. and you can you can Scripts. automate. Yeah, you can add scripts. Ah, oh, very cool. So simple example is, for example, uh, if you want to have a public IP added to your SharePoint front end, it's very easy. We have a pre-available script pre-created for you. You can Configure add it. Exactly. So basically, you so you can run through all these scripts. You start ID, you start SQL, start SharePoint, and then you configure the IP, and you can make that all scripted. So the whole thing, and then. You can test the whole thing. Exactly, you can test the whole thing. So if you have a you have a recovery plan pre-created, you can validate it as many times as you want, and you can be ready for your DR day. And if you if really something goes wrong, all you have to do is just click one button. That's awesome. And your application comes up in the other region. Customers will be able to access it. That's so cool. So you, so I mean this service is great. So this just went GA. Yes. Yes. Okay. The GA was announced in June. Okay, got it. So yeah. just just uh, just a couple months ago. So awesome. Uh, you, it's super powerful. You can now do disaster recovery between two regions with a couple clicks. You can test it. You can configure it to do multiple nodes, and you can even run scripts as part of that to make sure you're sequencing it properly and your app comes up and then validate that works. Yes. All just right here in the Azure portal built in and the only public cloud to do that. Yes, exactly. Boom. That's awesome. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. This has, thank been, you this has been great and really nice work on this. Thank yeah. you. If you have questions or you have comments or other things that you'd like to see here, you can ask them on hashtag Azure TWC and we'll both uh, jump on those questions and get back to you. So come look, up, come look us up on Twitter uh, and in the meantime, we'll keep uh, saving the day with this Azure Recovery. Thank you. Thanks. There we go. We're, we're good, good to go. Sorry, that's that's the that's we're very official here. Corey's clap. The Corey clap. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing the same shirt for a lot of these. That works.